my buddy George Jones, Jones over here at the Burger and Gun Range for my next installment on eight. We got kind of a new gun. And the new gun we've got today is a Zas 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 Kazuntite. Zas Zaspia AK. Now this guy says Zaspia Arms made in Serbia. It is a standard AK type 56 style stamp receiver AK type gun. Uh, it says on it, read owner's manual before use or, or work as a, a uh, private military contractor in Africa for a few years. And then you really understand how to use AKs. Um, other information, Zasvia Arms USA, Des Plaines, Illinois. And there is some Cyrillic writing on it that I can't decipher. Caliber 7.62 by 39, and that's about the size of it. It appears that the weapon is serial numbered to the bolt, and overall it's nice. It has kind of cherry plum finished wood on it. Um, it has a more modern style uh, pistol grip on it that's very ergonomic compared to the old slab broom handle design. And it has the standard Kalashnikov rails. Get over there, shoes. There, standard Kalashnikov rail system on it for everything from night vision devices to marital aids. Okay, no butt trap. You know, sling swivels are very nice. Cleaning rod, uh, slant cut muzzle brake, which is their attempt to try and counter the uh, right hand pull you know it's okay it's, we don't shoot many AKs on here but I think we ought to we ought to shoot them seeing as how the owner's standing right over there and he's probably wanting to go down the road someplace where they've got free beer Okay, so I've got the sights set on the zero notch, which is that little notch there before the elevations begin. And then back here, of course, is, as I've explained a hundred times, the battle sight step. So I've got it on the zero. I've got uh, Wolf steel case, lead core, and we're going to give... Give it a try down here on 125 yard steel silhouette. Let's give it a try. Wham. All right, let's try the old 12 inch end cap. Yeah. All right, let's get ambitious and see if we can hit the the uh, oxygen bottle cap down there, which has replaced the steel groundhog. No, but it knows we're here. All right. Whoop. Hey, 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 hey. You guys get a room. Steel plate. Yeah. This is a good shooting AK right here, buddy. Except for that time. I like the trigger in this thing. It's right there. There's no... A lot of AKs, you pull the trigger and it's like yank, 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 pow. This one is like, it's right there. There's no over travel or under travel <coughs> to it. There's like no kickback like on a Mahdi where the trigger kicks you back like a fork reset and makes your finger numb after a few shots. Try 
problem with these things is they get hot and accuracy starts to drop off. It's about the only problem an AK has. Of course, the handguard gets hot too, see? So I'll give you a tip. One of the things you can do is take a, a beer can, Coca-Cola can, take this guy off of there and make you a liner out of an aluminum can. And that keeps this from getting hot when you shot it a lot. You know, it keeps it from getting so hot and it also keeps it from bubbling up your finish. I mean, you know, you can shoot two 30 round magazines through this thing and the barrel's so hot that it's cooking that wood. So, you know, make you a little heat shield to go in there and that helps it a lot. It's got a nice trigger, buddy. You can shoot groundhogs with this thing. Let's try the little six inch wide steel at 125 yards. Yeah. Yeah, baby. AKs have a reputation of being the semi automatic garbage rod, but I'm going to tell you something. There's some good ones out there. You know, and this is a good one. This is a well-made gun by a very reputable and outstanding company, Zaspia. Uh, this company makes a lot of machine guns. Uh, they make a lot of automatic weapons for foreign sale. <coughs> they make pretty good handguns, too. They make a CZ-75 clone just outstanding. Well, there you go, the old Zaspia AK. You see one of these guys around, it'll cost an arm and a leg, but it's a pretty good old gun. Uh, like, date, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to, and if you don't, well, I just keep right on making content for you. Let's keep day being, uh, let's keep being dangerous during these scary times. No, that doesn't sound good at all. Let's try something else. Love you, neighbor. Vote right. Join the NRA. We'll see you when we see you. Bye now.